Welcome inside the mind of Ali Bloom. In a few moments, Ali is going to die. But don't be too upset. She's 92, and she has had a long and happy life. Also, she doesn't actually exist. How's that, you say? It's true. Ali is a thought experiment. We're creating her to illustrate an idea. She doesn't have to be old, female, or named Ali. She could be your nephew, your cousin, or just a friend. For this experiment, all we need is someone you might know. So let's use Ali. We'll say she's 92, and she's your granddaughter. Granddaughter, you say? Just play along. And be respectful. We're in the mind of your dying granddaughter, after all. Yes, here it comes. See the wall of darkness rushing towards us? That's death. Ali's brain is shutting down. The lights are going out. Everything she ever was, everything she's ever known, cell by cell and memory by memory, it's going dark. Don't worry though, this isn't the end for Ellie. It's true what they say. As long as someone holds you in their memory, you'll live on. Ellie has loving grandchildren to remember her. So why are we here? Actually, this is your time to go. Do you see? Ali was the last person alive who actually knew you. The last person with memories of you as a living, breathing, human being. From now on, you can only be a stranger to people, if they think of you at all. This is the moment you pass from living memory into history. This is the moment you truly die. Oh, whoops. There go the lights. Goodbye, Ellie. Goodbye, you.